Last evening, I was the victim of a sad scam. Beware of phone thieves. So this is Prince of Petworth. This is um a blog by a white guy who moved to D.C. back in like the 2000s, and he started a blog about his neighborhood that he lived in. And then it took off. He became like the hottest blogger in D.C. And then it turned into more crime report because once you live around sons, if you're reporting on the neighborhood, it's going to eventually turn into a crime channel, the crime blog. So this thing basically turned into a crime blog. He was first talking about like, you know, shops and different things. There's a pothole here or the new store opening here or this house is for sale here. And, you know, people asking people to send them stuff. And then over the years, it turned into a crime report, man. Um, but let's see what this, let's see this scam. This guy, this guy who wrote into to, to, to Prince of Petworth fell for. Dear Popville, last evening, I was the victim of a sad scam. which others may have had better sense to avoid. But I wanted to alert in case others have as much hope in our community as I do. Two teen girls came up and asked to borrow my phone. <laughs> to call someone. Maybe the millennial in me still assumed kids could be without a phone. So I let them. They ran off with my phone and got into a white sedan with a male driver and another teen girl down the street keeping watch. I would caution others to be more apprehensive of letting strangers borrow their phone, regardless of their age. And thank you to a kind stranger who witnessed and got pictures of the getaway car. This happened on the 100, 1000 block of S Street Northwest. That's by Howard University. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, don't do that. Okay? Don't do that. All right? If a Sun team comes and asks you, for your to, to use your phone, the answer is no. I don't let people use my phone, or my phone's dead, or I don't have it on me, or sorry. Um, but no, uh, a no is better than a tentative yes, and then like a, a son person may cuss you out or spit on you if you say no, but you still got your fucking phone man you know what I'm saying you still got your fucking phone you still got your fucking phone okay Wow. It's always better to have your fucking phone, man. We all love our phones, man. Our phones are like an extension of our body. Never let one of them get their hands on your phone, man. Never do that. Okay? Never, ever do that. Never, ever do that. Okay? You just never do that, man. Okay? Never let one of them touch your phone. 
And I know you want to feel like, you know, it's in DC, you can't even let a sun person use your lighter. Some people will run off with your lighter in DC. A sun person will, you'll give a sun person your lighter, right? I've had this happen to me several times where some person was like, you got lighter, cuz? Especially in Southeast. Hey, cuz, you got a lighter? I'm like, yeah, here. They're like, you know, light their joint and they put the lighter in their pocket. And I'm like, hey, wait a second, man, you got my fucking lighter. And it's like, oh, 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 my bad, my bad, here, here. And the feeling is like you might have to fucking get into some gangster shit over a fucking lighter. That happened to me several times, man. Several times, man. No bullshit. And I'm like, damn. This shit, what if this nigga say, what if this nigga tell me he ain't giving me my lighter back? <laughs> what that nigga be like, nah, nigga, this is my lighter now. <laughs> then what I'm going to do? And it's like, shit, you might have to get into some fucking gangster shit over a fucking lighter. Happened to me several times in DC, man. Yeah, if it's up, it's up. It's like, damn, you don't, it's like it's just the respect. It's just the it's just the principle of it, man. It's just the principle of it. Yeah, it's just the lighter, but it's just like it's the principle of it. You said they always still, yeah. Some men always like just. Little situations just that turn into fucking big things, man. Little teeny situations. I'm talking about microscopic situations just turn into huge deals, man, with some people, man. You and then you get you get um you know pulled in to the bullshit. But hey man, that's my fucking lighter. What lighter? And then you up there scrapping with some random sun, man. God knows where you're at. You could be anywhere. <laughs> and this motherfucker, he might know how to fight. <laughs> what if the motherfucker know how to fight and shit? And you out there fighting for your life over a fucking lighter and shit. What if he got hands and shit? He not to mix them up and shit. <laughs> and you out there fighting this shit over a fucking lighter and shit. Stay away from them, man. Stay away from them, man. Stay away. That's all I can tell you, man. That's the only advice I can give you, man. <laughs> 